everybody, this is Julie with ReadySitStamp.com and today we're going to be making a fun shaker card. So I've gone ahead and glued six pieces together and so you can see how thick this is. I'll put the silhouette number. This is actually not a shaker card on the silhouette, but I made it into one. It comes with a piece like this and it has this overlaid on it that you can cut out. So I just welded it or grouped it together so that it would cut out a cute little part like that and just cut a bunch of pieces out so that I would make my little space to put my sequence in there. And then um, this one here, I just left one off so that you guys can see me glue this on so you can kind of see the process of me gluing these all together. So I've got this glue here that I got and it's called um, Mambo, Mambo Mono Liquid Aqua. And I don't know what the aqua is about. I'm not sure what that's for, but anyway, that's just what it's called. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue this on here. And then I'm going to take this and put it on top here. I got some on my fingers. Let me get that off of there. All right, the best way that I've found to do this is you just kind of lay it on top and then you use the side pieces here to kind of put it together and hold it straight. So anyway, that went on there nice and straight. And then what I've done with the top piece here is add a plastic layer underneath of it. So this has got a little plastic layer. And I just do that from just a little cellophane bag or if you guys get anything in the mail that's got a little cellophane, definitely use it because it works like acetate and it's perfect. So um, and I stamped it with Sail Away and this is from the Scrappy Mom set. So I think this is super cute. So I'm just going to kind of look at the, look this over a little bit. So what you're going to need to do to kind of lay out your little scenery here, this is how it's going to go. And I'm going to take my little um, foam pad that I have here and kind of lay out where I'm going to add my fish and my bubbles. So I'm going to be using the brads that you guys saw that I started selling because I think it's perfect for this theme with the little fish in it. So I'm just going to poke a couple holes and add my little fish in here. So I've got one fishy here. So cute. And then maybe I'll do one down here. And poke this one through here. Let's see, we've got that one right here. Very cute. Looks like this fish goes this way though, so that we'll do it like that. And then we've got the last one here, so I'll kind of space these out a bit. I like doing things in threes. I just think it looks better that way. So I'm going to do it like that. That is too cute. Alright, and now I'm going to add a couple little bubbles. And so, let's see, I'll add one bubble here. And this is a tiny little brad bubble. Isn't that too cute? And actually that color is very similar to the other one. So the brads come in two different colors, a lighter and a darker. So I'm going to choose to do the darker bubble. I just think that'll add, you'll just be able to see it better. So I'm just going to do a darker bubble here. And then I'm going to do another darker bubble here up above it. So we'll take another one and add that right here. Very cute. And now I'm going to lift up my card, pull this away, and then flatten all of these in the back of it. So it's a nice way of doing this. I love using a little bit of foam. And this foam I got um, that came with some other brads that I purchased at Michael's quite a while ago. But I love saving them for that reason, that you can use them. And um, it's just perfect using a little push pin like that. Just makes them go in so nicely. So I'm just going to finish doing this here, laying this all flat. So you get them as flat as can be, like that. I like that. And now we're going to start gluing this onto our card here. So this is going to go, and you need to get this centered. Now I did think of adding a little bit of twine to this, um, to this part here, but I'm afraid it's going to be bulky in the back and not lay flat. So I decided not to do the twine, but I may do a little bit of rhinestones. So I'll show you what I'm thinking about um, very soon. So I'm just going to add this to the back of this with a little bit of this glue that I have here. 
I do like this glue a lot because it doesn't um, it doesn't gum up and close up. I've used quite a few bits of different glue and I've noticed that they get and I got to put a pin in it to undo it and this never happens with this glue. So that's the reason why I do like that glue. So I'm just going to add this right here to the bottom of my card. Try to keep this straight up. Alright, now I'm going to lift my card and center this a little bit more. Okay. I like the way this is all coming together now. Okay. And now we're going to glue this piece on top of it. So I am going to take the lid off of here and add a little bit more glue here. So I'll just go around and around. Put a little bit here just to really make sure this stays on nice and well because this has got a lot of layers here. So this card would definitely, I would personally say hand this card to somebody so it doesn't get damaged in the mail. But if you did want to mail it, you probably would do it with like a bubble envelope just to really make sure it's going to all arrive in one piece and that the person will get to enjoy it. So I'm just going to kind of hold this down a little bit to make sure that this is gluing down well. Alright, and for the next step we're going to start adding in some of our sequins here. And this is the sequins that you guys saw that I started carrying, which I love. This is the 8mm sequin, so it's a little bit bigger, and I love it. I'm just going to add a few little bits in here of this color. I'm going to kind of mix a few different colors because I think it'd be fun. Since there's a little bit of orange in the fish here, I thought it would be fun because blue and orange look really nice together. So I'm going to add a little bit of orange. And then I'm going to add a little bit of this really pretty turquoise that I have as well. So I'm going to grab some of the turquoise and we'll put that right in here. Okay, here's the pretty turquoise color. Isn't that beautiful? So I add a little bit of that in here as well. Okay, I think that should do it for all my colors that I'm going to have. So I will put that in here now and start doing the top part. So I'm going to kind of just lay this nice and flat. So now that I have that, this is the part that's going to go on top. And this is the part with the acetate on there. So I'm just going to go around the corner here. Just go around it, add a little bit here. And then you keep going around and add a little bit in here. So you can get this nice and glued down. So I'm going to flip this over here. And I just noticed some dirt on this. You definitely want to get the dirt off. It's little lint particles. So I want to get the lint off before I lay it down just so that it looks really nice. That looks great. So now I'm going to put this right on top here. Very cute. And just center this. So this is evenly spaced here, right on top of that. I'm noticing that moved a little bit. So it does shift because it is on glue, and of course the glue is really um, not dry yet, so it is going to move a little bit. So try to hold it in place for you there. All right, and that definitely needs to dry, and you can even put a book on it just to keep it nice and flat. But I do want to show you this little shaker part of it. And I thought maybe instead of adding a string, because I did think that was going to add bulk to this card, um, and I could add the string, actually, you know what, I could add the string now that goes all the way around this whole thing rather than just a layer that I was going to glue on it. So with that said, let me go get a little piece of string, because I actually think that would be super cute. Let me get some string and we'll add that to this. Okay, so I did add some string right here and tied a little bow. And I did take just a touch of glue on the back of this because my um, little bow wasn't staying straight where I wanted it to be, so I just kind of glued it down. But anyway, this is my finished card, and I think it's so cute. This is going to be for my son, who's turning 23, hard to believe. So anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this card, and have a fabulous day, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.